we were on day 16. Time's almost up. But first, it's Turk time. I've been at it, I've been moving with a purpose Show respect to execution, if I got it, I deserve it Let them know, every day I go hard Cause I want it all This was all hard work, luck was not involved First question Do you like watching reruns? Um, I don't mind reruns I, I do like watching reruns, actually Um, the Martin Lawrence show Love it Boys Meets World Love it um, and I can't get enough of those. There's more examples. I'm not gonna go all day about it, but I love watching reruns of those shows um, And I could laugh at it like it's brand new to me Regardless of how many times not in a row, but you know if I watch season six and uh, A year later if I watch season six again, it's brand new to me. I still enjoy it. I still feel it everything they went through so Yeah, I enjoy watching reruns what gives me cheap thrills? Um, I'm not gonna lie. A cheap thrill and a habit that I have is making people feel uncomfortable. So if you tell me something makes you feel uncomfortable, I like purposely do it just to get like the reaction out of you. So for example, I, I use the N word in front of white people. I, I know they're not gonna say it, but something is laughable about their reaction to me saying it. Um, of course with the A at the end, but it's still funny. Um, they kind of cringe. Um, maybe it's not funny to you guys, but it's, it's a small example of me making people feel uncomfortable and I get like a little bit of a thrill out of it. If I know like the girl I'm seeing don't want babies, I'd be like, when are you gonna let me get you pregnant? And you know, things like that. It's, it's funny to me um, and it's a cheap thrill. What comforts you during your bad days? Video games, I'm a gamer. Um, I play my Xbox and it gets my mind off things. I would say football, but if I'm angry or I'm feeling like upset and I play football, I'm out there and I'm a mess. I feel physically fine, but clearly my head is not in the game and uh, the results are pretty bad. I look sorry out there, so. What I don't lack in is video games and that makes me happy because I'm a competitor and I win. How old is too old to have a baby? Oh man, um, I'd say 35, 40. That's a little old to be having a kid, you know? You have a baby at 40 years old, you know? Me, like I said in my coaching video, especially if I have a son or my daughter that wants to be athletic. Um, I just don't want to tell you to do things. I want to show you how to do things. So if I have a kid at 40, by the time you're 10 or 12 and ready to try these things out, I'm 50, 52. I can't get up and show you. And that's going to eat me up a little bit. So um, that's not the only example, but it's one of the main reasons why I think it's too old. And plus, it's just weird. Like, by the time you're 18, I'm gonna be, what, 58? <laughs> I'm gonna be halfway to the grade before you leave college. Nah, I, I'm not, no. People at your high school graduation is gonna be looking into the crowd like, hey, your grandfather's here. I don't want to be that guy. What can I do to make my life better? Um, I know there's more than a few things that I can do, but the first thing that I can do is stop procrastinating. Um, I put things away, even this whole YouTube thing, away for years, and it's all because procrastination. It's not that I can't do it, it's just procrastination. I don't know what's good with me, but I gotta get it together and I will, and I will, and I have been. So um, the second half of 2020 is, is looking real promising. So yeah, what would you rather own? A private jet or a yacht? Um, I used to be afraid of flying. I'm not anymore, thank God. Um, but if I had to choose one, I would definitely have a jet. Like, sometimes I like road trips. 
when I go somewhere. Other times, I do like getting on a plane. And when I get on a plane, it's because I just want to get there. Like, I like road trips, but I'm not doing too long. I'm not doing like a two day road trip. Um, I'll do a one day, that, that's cool. I actually just did that to New Orleans. So if you didn't see that video, my road trip to New Orleans, please watch that. It's pretty dope and it's pretty funny. I enjoyed it. But yeah, I'm gonna have to go with a private jet. Um, I just wanna get there, being on the water. I don't know what's in the water. There's too much water to know what's in these water. Nah, 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 nah. And, th and then you got the storms and the water and it's it, the waves is tipping you up. Mm -hmm. Nah. So, I'm gonna have to go with the private jet. What is the main thing you like to do on vacations? It's a tie between sightseeing and eating. <laughs> I go on vacations just because I seen this chef or this caterer that I wanna see because he's selling plates out of food truck. Like I legit go on vacations just for food. But then again, I like sightseeing and not like, when I say sightseeing, like I'm not talking about Times Square or like I have to see the Staples, uh, the White House, things like that. I'm not saying that. I like to see like architecture. Like I love seeing palm trees. I love seeing red mountains, even though I haven't seen it yet. But these are things that I'm going for. Like I want to see the canyons. I want to see palm trees that I don't have in Boston. I want to see the red mountains. I want to see the deserts. I want to ride dune buggies through the desert. I want to ride quads through the desert. Um, everything like that I would like to do. And when I go on vacation, I'm telling you, I'm barely in the house. I use the house that I paid for to get a night's sleep. I probably don't come in the house till about 2, 3 a.m. I'm out of the house before 11 a.m. Promise you. I don't play when I'm on vacation. I am out the house. I am out the house. Was I popular in school and why? Hell yes, I was popular in school. Why? I was a clown. I was the class clown. I made everybody laugh. Everybody loves to laugh. And I had the biggest sense of humor. I'm the funniest person in the class. So anytime anybody gave me something to fuel off of, the teacher say something that even sounds wrong or the answer that's funny, I had to respond out loud. The things that comes to my head, like my mind is running all the time. Like it, it's waiting for references. So it's like you pop in a keyword and it just, no filter, it just comes out my mouth. And that's what really made me popular. I was the class clown, I was the fool. And uh, everybody seemed to be entertained by that, so. Do you believe in PDA? It is weird, it's weird. Um, yes and no, I think there's a time and a place for it, but if you're giving a little peck kiss, fine. But if you just want to go in making out, it's just, that is not me. Not in public. It's, it's just weird. I barely want to vlog in public and I'm getting used to that. So I can't imagine just tonguing down somebody in public. It's, it's just weird. Um, holding hands, that, that's cool. That's cool. But the whole making out and the extra huggy huggy is... I don't know if that's for me, but uh, maybe things can change, but I doubt it. Are you a gambler? Me personally, no. Um, I know a lot of people that does. I'm not much of a gambler, but one thing that I did gamble on recently is buying all this equipment that I'm using to share my stories and my life with you guys. So I'm hoping this gamble turns out to be a success because I don't know if I just wasted this to talk to myself and my 10 friends uh, I'm gonna be pretty upset but at the end of the day it's not about that um, I'm here because this is an opportunity to show people a different side of me I told you guys I'm an introvert before so this is gonna be a surprise to a lot of people that don't know me know me so yeah but to answer the question, no, I am not a gambler. Do you think celebrities should be looked at as role models or just for entertainment? 
celebrities should absolutely be looked at as role models um you got there in position and now all these people is already looking up to you so that means your voice counts um people don't want to see celebrities silent about like uh social issues regardless of what it can be um it really doesn't matter what the subject is i just think that with the fame and being a celebrity comes with the responsibility. No, that part is not in your contract, but you have to know that comes with responsibility because people are looking up to you. Kids are looking up to you. So if you go out there acting a the fool, there's kids out here that look up to you. Believe it or not, even if you want it or not, they're going to be acting a fool. So if you sit there and get DUIs and you're driving drunk or you're just smoking all the time on camera like people see that they think it's cool because they think you are cool through the characters you play if you're an actor or if you're an artist they think if your music is cool the rest of what you do is cool so you do have that responsibility to our younger generation our younger generation is going to be taking care of you one day when you're old so you might want to steer them in the right direction what am I unapologetic for? I'm unapologetic for my opinion. Um, once I have my opinion on something, that's what it is. It's probably not going to change. You can definitely share your opinion with me, but it's not going to change my mind. And when I give my opinion, and it's not to change your mind, it's just to give off what I'm thinking. So if you have a problem with my opinion, then don't talk about it with me. Don't bring it up. Um, is just the way I am. I don't know about you guys. I'm gonna give you my opinion. You can give me yours, but I'm not gonna lose sleep if you don't agree with me because that's not my goal when I'm giving you my opinion in the first place. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm gonna do something a little different. So for now on every video that I post, I'm going to ask one question at the end. I actually have a whole book of questions that I got and I'm gonna share those questions every day, regardless of what the question is. There's like 3,000 of them. So I have questions for days. I'm not gonna run out of questions. There will be one question at the end of every video. If you would like to submit a question, please do that in the comments or hit me up in my DMs on social media. I'm Turk and I'm out. That was a good Q&A. Hey, Dad, what's wrong? My life's a TV show. Here's another episode. Sticking to the script, swear I'm always skeptical. Starring me.